Hi, everyone. Joe for jazbeescasebreaks.com coming at you with Jaspie's 15-box alley-oop high-end basketball mixer. Random team break right here. 30 spots. It's a high-end mixer. Yeah, it's a great it's a great mix of high-end products right here, so it should be pretty fun. Um, no vet common ship in this stuff, but Luka's second-year stuff, LeBron and Giannis will ship. And Kobe's, if there are any. I think that's a standing rule for now. Subject to change at any time, but standing rule for now. It's a great list of boxes right here, spanning a number of different years. Look at that. So that should be a lot of fun. So just keep all keep the, this in mind when you are trading. This is part of tonight's Jersey Palooza promo, or this weekend's Jersey Palooza promo. So if you're on this list, you're automatically entered in there. So you're good to go. Thanks everyone for buying their team straight up, and congrats again to the winners. And all 30 basketball teams are in. We've got some college basketball on the background. Let's roll it. Randomize each list three and a six nine times for names and teams. Two. And ninth and final time. After nine, we got Steven down to Steve, two different Steves. Steven S and Steve E, top and bottom, after nine. All right, once again, three and a six, nine times for the teams. One, two. Eight and ninth and final time. After nine, we got Suns down to T-Wolves. All right, so Steven with the Suns, Luke with the Warriors, Robert with the Mavs, Steven S. with my Lakers, Marcus with the Heat, Scott with the Cavs, Aaron Clark with the Wizards, Brian Croft with the Pacers, Robert with the Knicks, Jared with the Blazers, Robert with the Nuggets, Zach with the Jazz, Lee Ziao Chen with the Raptors, Adam Kupperman with the Pelicans with the spot that you won, Zach with the Hawks, Lee Ziao Chen with the Clippers, Catherine, you got the Celtics, Kyle Cook with the OKC Thunder, Corey with the Kings, Zach with the Grizz, that's also with the spot that you won. Kevin Laspot Mojo Nets, he has them up for trade, Michael with the Bucks, Brian with the Bulls, Greg with the Hornets, Robert with the Spurs, Catherine with the Sixers, Allen with the Magic, Matt with the Rockets, Catherine with the Pistons, and Steve Engelson, you have the Minnesota Timberwolves. Let's get all the teams and names on one screen here. Let's box these up. I'm going to pause the video and allow for a little bit of a trade window. When we come back, we're going to see if there's any trades and then the break itself. So stick around. We'll be right back. All right. Welcome back, folks. There was a lot of trade chatter, but no, no deals were done, which is all good. So you can see some of the boxes right here, and then you can see the rest of the boxes on the top camera right up there. We were just talking a little bit about that LeBron James logo man that I pulled. And I was, t I was telling Jared, thanks everyone, once again for getting in. I was telling Jared, who has the trailblazers in this one, and he was watching that live, and I was like, man, Jared, I was stunned. When I pulled that. I couldn't believe it at first, and then I just kind of, kind of had to not overthink it. You know, and I was just like, had to focus on like, all right, let's put that in the thing. Let's put that in the other thing. Let's make sure I don't drop the card. So I had to be really careful on that. And so we then really just started to register. It's like, man, that's probably one of the best cards of the, of the product right there too. Zach thinks, Zach Paul thinks it's the pull of the product. All right, here's 12-13, Panini. Just Panini basketball, I think. Two autographs per box is what we're looking for here. Autographs from Hardwood greats of the past, present, and future, including Kevin Durant and Anthony Davis. That's what it says right here. Rated rookie signatures featuring some of the top talent. Now, remember, I'm glad they explained this here. Um, remember there was like a, a lockout or a strike or something like that? So they So Panini had to end up combining two draft classes in one. So this is... Whenever you see stuff like this, it's actually really good, uh, really great value in there. 
But yeah, that LeBron James poll was pretty uh, was pretty stunning. For those of you who haven't seen it, well, there's the TMZ article in the chat that they that they did. I guess they're following us too. And here's the uh, I think the link on Twitter at Jaspi's Breaks where you can see that logo man as well. I mean, what I guess I I, I suppose. Zion would be would be something that would might, that might even be a little bit better just because it's a rookie, but yeah, I mean that's got to be one of the pulls of the product. Obviously, LeBron James is exclusive to Upper Deck. His autos are exclusive to Upper Deck. So whenever we see anything card or relic related, a little extra boost in value just because this stuff just is not as not very common on the secondary market. Remember, folks, no veteran common ship except for LeBron James and Giannis and second-year Luka Doncic cards and Kobe cards, if any. All right, let's see. That's the first stack right here. Yeah, Steven's like, wow, amazing card it is, isn't it? It's going on auction. The uh, that night, the buyer or the the winner of that card who won it in a uh, random number block of all things, um, but uh, the winner initially was like, "Oh yeah, send it to me. I want to see it. I want to hold on to it. I think I'm going to hold for a while." And then a few hours later, he was like, "You know what? No. Can you guys just take? Because we did the we pulled Jason Jaspi pulled that." Uh, pulled that Connor McDavid RPA out of the cup hockey. And so we pulled that and sent it to our, our friends over at Leland's, Leland's Auction. And they ended up selling it for $130,000, a little bit more than that. So he knew that we were part of that. And then he was like, you know what? Can you guys just set all that stuff up for me? And we're like, sure. Oh, there's the Kobe packs right there. So we're pretty lucky. We're pretty fortunate to be able to pull a couple big monster cards like that. All right, here's our first box. Good luck. Oh, also in this case right here, I don't think we're running into this too often, but we're going to go by city. So Charlotte stuff will go to Charlotte. New Orleans stuff will go to New Orleans. going to say rookie cards on them when I come across one. Marcus Cousins, where did he sign? He's, he re-signed somewhere. Anthony Davis autograph. That's not too shabby. That goes to New Orleans. That I'm glad I explained. I'm glad I reset that. Uh, reset that New Orleans Charlotte situation there. But yeah, this goes to New Orleans, obviously. And Anthony Davis authentic signature going to Adam Kupperman, who won that spot, got randomized the Pelicans, and he's probably expecting. You know, he's probably looking. Looking towards 1920 stuff, but here's a surprise in a 1213 box. 
Anthony Davis. Now, is that what? Is that rookie? Yeah, exactly. Adam's like, I was just thinking I was chasing uh, Zion's, but I think this is rookie because he was 2012, right? And this box has 2011 and 2012 rookies right there. So there you go. This is the, the famous dual draft class one, and now a champion as well. Yeah, he was the number one overall pick in 2012. Pretty nice. I'm gonna snap, I gotta remember to snap a picture of that. I gotta set that aside just off to the side here. Yeah, Steven, you're right. It kinda, well, it doesn't, it doesn't. It doesn't feel like he's been in the league for eight years already, Steven is saying. Here's Heat edition of LeBron James. That'll be for Marcus. Just like, you're kind of like, look how skinny he looks right there. But you're kind of like, yeah, I guess he has been around for a long time. and But it doesn't feel like a lot. Kind of both at the same time in my head. It's almost like, wasn't he just, didn't he just get drafted? Are we just talking about the brow? Yeah, the brow is still super thick. There's an Anthony Davis right there, rookie card. Yeah, the, Oliver seeing sales from 150 to 250. Adam saw one for around three. What about that Anthony Davis rookie card? I think maybe the fact that it doesn't have RC on it, maybe that, I don't know, maybe maybe, maybe that uh, concerns collectors, I don't know. Here's another autograph right here. This Tyshawn Taylor, Brooklyn Nets, Kevin Benedict tried to trade, couldn't trade Mojo. Yeah, it might be worth a hold, might be worth a grade. Maybe that rookie card. Worth a hold, see how the rest of Anthony Davis's career shapes up. I think they're just trying to figure out money stuff with the Lakers right now, or how many years. Years and money. But it doesn't look like Anthony Davis is on any sort of free agent tour. I think he's definitely coming back to the Lakers. Yeah, maybe, maybe, maybe PSA, slow boat. No rush on that Anthony Davis. All right, so nice start in our first box. Sean Jaspi will give you $3.59, Adam Kupperman. Kobe. Can these be some of these I've seen numbered, but these will all go to the Lakers, of course. Let's set those aside there. Where should we go next? What that was, So that was the oldest box, 1213. And I think the next oldest box is the 1617 boxes. So there's 1617 limited. We got this the Anthony Davis on the on the box. Ooh. Yeah, Sean's not very good at negotiating, Adam. Next box right here. All right, behind Luel Dang is Alex Abrins. I, I don't remember this guy at all. And there's 
Uh, there's Papa Giannis. That's for the Sacramento Kings. That's going to go to Corey and the Kings. And behind Luel Dang Lakers edition is Allen Iverson. Oh, I thought it was going to be an autograph. Decade dominance jersey, 1999 Prince. That goes to Catherine and the Sixers. I thought it was going to be an autograph. All right, and there's Luel Dang. I'm pretty sure the Lakers are still paying him like a million dollars after they stretched out his deal. That was 1617 Limited. Let's go to 167 Prism Mosaic. Is that this one right here? Yeah, that's 1617 Prism Mosaic. Um, ben Simmons here, I think, among others. Remember, Ben Simmons autographs also exclusive to Upper Deck, just like LeBron James. Um, so the value of Ben Simmons rookie cards also get a nice little boost on the secondary market. Oh, yeah, wait. What did the league say on Luel Deng's contract? I know the Lakers were trying to figure out how not to pay him, like, the last couple million dollars because they, they need it every little bit. Oh, Buddy Heal, Jamal Murray in this class, Oliver saying nice. There's Chris Dunn. Tyler Ulis, Jabari Parker. So all of these will ship. These are an all-card ship situation in this mosaic. Jordan Clarkson. Some of these cards are kind of sticking together here. There's Juan Hernan Gomez. Malcolm Brogdon. Oh, we're still on the hook for the money. Okay, so we're still on the hook for uh, for Lou Elding. Yeah, I didn't think they were gonna win that that appeal or whatever they whatever they call it. I think all right. So nothing too crazy in there. Um, I I want to say they were trying to say that cause since Lou Elding doesn't play anymore, I think they were trying to argue that there that he suffered a career end ending injury while still with the Lakers, which means they don't have to pay the stretched part of the contract. It was a little complicated, but that's, that's what they said. All right, so that's it for 16-17. Should we get into some 17-18? And now we're just kind of in some nicer, I don't even know what direction to go in. Why don't I just go, let's just bounce around a little bit then. Let's just do contenders. Let's do the heavier sort of base card stuff, maybe some blasters, and then we'll maybe do that stack and then end with some choice origins and one and one, something like that. I think Mozgov is off the hook. I don't think I don't think I think they're able to just move him and not have to really stretch his contract or anything. But Mozgov, I think, actually played some minutes. Dang just never worked out. And he was like just injured and when he was healthy he wasn't effective he didn't get minutes but he was getting like i don't know he had like 12 million a year or something like that and then they were finally able to trade him and then there's like some sort of stretch provision so they it could be less of a cap impact i don't, I don't know exactly how it works but they're able to do that and so they're, but they were still on the hook for some money here and there, but they're going to have to pay it. I mean, in a million dollars or so, for the Lakers payroll anyway, I mean, you know, that's like, uh, that's like maybe is can probably get a decent player to gobble up some minutes for a million dollars. Ring chasers, old veterans, will just take a small little deal just to chase a ring with LeBron. Maybe put him... A few quality minutes here and there. Golems, ring chasers. All right, let's see what we find in here. Some Cam Reddish. Save a Giannis onto the compo right there. Here's John Morant lottery ticket. It's current edition, of course. Grizzlies. 
That will be for Zach Paul. Won that spot, got randomized the Grizz. Was that it? Was the Luel Ding a Jim Bus deal? I think that was still. Uh... Why am I blanking on his name? It's still the, the, the other guy. Who's in Charlotte now, maybe? Tremont Waters. And Carlos Boozer. Legendary Contenders autograph, 195 out of 199. Chad M. wanted to find vintage Kurt Rambis cards. What about an old Carlos Boozer? Zach with the Jazz. And they've been running this laser tag commercial a lot. Kinda wanna make me think about getting Get Laser X. This break brought to you by GetLaserX.com. The entire blaster? I'm sold. A 300 foot range? There's Lakers edition of DeMarcus Cousins to 65. Well, do you have getlaserx.com? If you have, if you have that, then I think we could, I think we could play against each other, Ryan. Kobe. Wow. Steven Savinsky with the Los Angeles Lakers get out of 1920 contenders basketball gets a Kobe Bryant on card on card autograph 21 out of 25 just a few off the jersey number because that's what Jaspies does. I never hit jersey numbers. I saw it flipped around. I just assumed it was going to be an insert. Panini likes to troll people that way. But wow. Holy smokes. Kobe actually held this card. R.I.P. Kobe. I miss this guy. Oh, man. What a hit. There's SGA to 199. Ryan Harold saying that he saw one from 18, this is 1920, but 1819 contenders, 4,500 raw. Man. I mean, yeah, that signature is so smooth, right, Steven? That mama mentality right there. Great, great signature. How do you top that? I don't know. I should probably pull a Zion autograph after this. Ryan Harold saying rest of this may, may seem a little blasé after that one. 
Yeah, if the break drags a little bit, I'll just keep I'll just show that again. duration of the break or Kobe Shrine right there. That is awesome. <laughs> LeBron James. LeBron James logo man out of Immaculate Basketball not too long ago and now Kobe Bryant on card autograph out of Contenders. If you're one of the 60 some odd people who watch that live, you can tell everybody, hey, I was there when, dot, dot, dot. All right, so what, what is this? This is, oh, is this Mosaic Timo? Maybe? Red and gold wave prisms in this? Is Damian Lillard and Gold Wave Miles Bridges. Yeah, it is Mosaic Team All. There's the Gold Wave, which are the more uh, shorter printed ones compared to the Red Wave. Team All being the big e-commerce site in China, Panini had made an exclusive for them. There's Damian Lillard Red Wave for the Trailblazers. LB for Jared. Red Wave John Wall. Does he want to trade? Or who's going to take John injured John Wall in that contract? There's Shaq. Or coming off a major injury. <laughs> Johnny says, what's better than one Kobe or two? I don't know where could, where the second one could even come from. I don't think are there any Kobe autos elsewhere. I didn't even realize there were Kobe autos in contenders. Silver Bam Adebayo, Red Wave Lanks and Galloway. DJ Augustine. Ryan Harold, you're always here, so you always see the pulls and you're excited and sad simultaneously. Why are you sad? You should be happy for Steven Savinsky. Oh, because you want them in your collection, I see. There's Eric Gordon. NBA debut, John Morant. Dylan Windler, Red Wave. Oh, and Robert, I think, was asking, yes, all Luka Doncic's will ship. Second year Luka Doncic's. This John Morant goes to Zach and the Grizz. And we got Gold Wave, Mufondu, Kamengeli, Gold Wave Rookie. There's Jalen Brown, Red Wave. Giannis Antetokounmpo, Tyus Jones, Red Wave. And that was Mosaic Team All. Yeah, is, is it plural Luka Doncic's or Luka Doncic? All right, that Mufondo is for the Clippers. Lee Ziao Chen with the Clip Show. All right, what should we do? Maybe some of these hanger boxes? Yeah, let's do a prison basketball hanger box. Man, that's... Usually, those are flipped around, and it's just like an insert. And I, then I'll make my usual joke. Ah, oh, there's Panini trolling me. Making me think it was an autograph. So I just assumed that was going to be the same thing. Not this time. There's Rudy Gobert. Cracked Ice Relic for the Jazz. That'll be for Zach. Kyle Guy, green. These are exclusive to these sets right there. There's Isaiah Roby. And Hachimura, ah, okay. See, that's what that's what usually happens. Uh, 
All right, let's do a Chronicles hanger box. And a green LeBron James back here, marquee for the Lakers. Uh, Steven. Here's a John Morant for the Grizz. That goes to Zach. He actually missed that dunk. Or was blocked? Missed or blocked? Something like that. All right, blaster time. Let's go to, there's two 1718 blasters. We've got a prism blaster and a Donruss optic blaster. So let's think back to our Jason Tatum draft class here, 2017. I think that might be my favorite card of the year too. The John Morant luminance card where he's dunking. I forgot who told me that, but someone was like, you know, he actually missed that dunk. And I was like, are you serious? Which kind of makes it funny. Was it you, Oliver? <laughs> it's just like, oh, rated rookie Donovan Mitchell. It kind of cracks me up because it looks like such a fero like a ferocious dunk is about to happen. All right, look at that. I mean, look at that athleticism. He he's he's posterizing Kevin Love right there. He's about to put. You know, that that area in his face, you know, he's got the one hand extension down this way, one hand fully extended that way, just like monster jam time, you know, he's, he's got, he's got mouth open, maybe tongue out like Jordan, no, no tongue, but he's just ready. You know, this guy's looking up going, there's going to be a monster, that guy's looking up. Crowd's looking at him. Kevin Love just trying to get out of the way. And then Clang. <laughs> Rookie Kings. Ivan Rab. Semi Ojale rated rookie. Frank Mason the third. Gordon Hayward getting paid by Charlotte. What is uh what's what's Michael doing out there in Charlotte? There's DeMontis a bonus. Sterling Brown, Clay Thompson, Kyrie Irving. Why did, why did they pay Gordon Hayward that? I, I like Gordon Hayward, but I feel like Charlotte paid a lot for Gordon Hayward. Or maybe if you're a team of that market, you have to overpay for guys like that. There's Donovan Mitchell for Zach and the Jazz. Another blaster box. Hey, great photography, too. I, I kind of wish there was actually for shots like that. Where's the where's the photographer credit? All right, still same year, seventeen eighteen, but this time prism. I think it's this and one more box, Celtics, Catherine. That's your uh, your last two chances for Jason Tatum. Uh, the rookie cards. Yeah, because Jordan Doden doesn't know what he, what the F he's doing. Mitch Kupchak. I was trying to think of Mitch Kupchak, the old Lakers GM who had who had maybe there's Kobe again, who had maybe signed that ill fated Luel Dang deal. Isn't he in Charlotte now? There's Tony Bradley Jazz for Zach. But I don't know. Maybe that's maybe maybe in that market though, in that market size, Ryan. They're just like, well, we gotta overpay for guys like Gordon Hayward. 
If he could stay healthy, I guess he'd be a solid player, but like a what, $34 million a year player? LeBron James, Cavs, Silver. That goes to Scott Claremont. Nice prism silver out of a blaster box. All right, let's get some court kings. Let's get that old court kings going. This is what old court kings look like. Now the court kings, they trim down the box a little bit. Paul Gasol, his brother Mark on my Lakers now. Where does where does this guy go? James Harden? They're still talking about him. There's Anthony Davis, Tilakina, points in the paint, Lamarcus Aldridge, Kuzma rookie, portraits, Chris Middleton to 25. And we've got out of 200, TJ Leaf, fresh paint autograph. That's for the Pacers. That's going to go to Brian Croft. 178 out of 200, and then we've got a Dragic. It's 299, yeah, piece of his jersey, Miami. That'll be for Marcus. How's John Shambi doing basketball? College hoops? Looks like we got a randomizer between New Orleans, Indiana, San Antonio, and Golden State. There's David West. Progressions. Which I think is kind of a cool, cool design. I guess if you're a big David West fan, you get this framed up and set that back there. All right, now another Court Kings, 2019-2020. So current Court Kings. Actually, known to the draft is oh, it, actually this, I, I have to start referring to this as last year's draft class now. All right, so that's an autograph on the bottom. There's C.J. McCollum, Maestro, Pascal Siakam, R.J. Barrett, Level Two. Damian Lillard, Tatum, Samanich, Kobe White. Relic is Jordan Poole, Art Nouveau. Obi-Wan, what's going on? Things are well. Look at that. That's for Luke and the Warriors. And the autograph behind Kevin Love is... His old Ralph Sampson, high court autograph for the Rockets. It's Matt Lieber. Tried to trade, couldn't trade Mojo. 157 out of 179. All right. Now some contenders optic basketballs still last year's draft class. There's 
There's two on that. Donovan Mitchell, Devin Booker. Historic picks, 13th overall. I guess that 13th overall pick wasn't too shabby. We'll do a randomizer for this at the end as well, along with that card up there. Hassan Whiteside. Behind Andre Drummond is Jalen Brown, Red Wave. Not numbered. And behind him is Sekou Dimbo. Is that it? What, what? Oh, this is T-Mall Contenders Optic. I was like, where's the autograph? All right, so it's those red waves that were the two main cards here. That threw me off for a second. Let's go to Origins. That Kobe is pretty awesome. Out of, a mic, out of a mixer of all things. All right, there's Paul George, 99. Bradley Beal, the Wizards. Got Zach Levine and Admiral Schofield. And behind Joel Embiid is his teammate, Matisse Teibel. Origins Relic going to Cat and the 76ers. And behind Joel Embiid is Jersey and Autograph for Charlotte, P.J. Washington Jr. Although the Hornets have been stockpiling some, some interesting young players. P.J. Washington Jr., Devontae Graham. You got Terry Rozier. They've got some solid names on there. Gordon Hayward, their draft pick from this year. I forgot who he was, but their draft pick from this year. They can get all that to click. It might be a great team. Maybe, maybe not. Maybe not first team All NBA. Oh, Lamelo. That's right. They might not have. Uh, you know. First team All NBA guys, but, but maybe as a team that could be very different and interesting. All right. Speaking of Charlotte, here's Nicola Batum. We got Blue Victor Oladipo for Indiana. Three out of 35. We named the dog Indiana. That'll be for Brian Croft. Justice Winslow, you're gonna help me out here. It's on, it's on, check the bottom first. Aha, look at this. Rated rookie, Zion Williamson out of choice. That's gonna go to Adam Kupperman and the Pelicans. Nice, there you go, Adam. He won that spot in a cello pack and then got lucky enough to be randomized the Pelicans there. There's Nasir Little rated rookie, Darius Baisley, Lucas Samanic, and this guy, Kyle Guy. Darius Baisley had a pretty nice Kyle Cook with that one too. Jared with the Nasir Little. And behind Justice Winslow is Hachimura, rated rookie autograph. Wow. 15 out of 35. That'll be for Aaron Clark and the Washington Wizards. Sean Jaspi, big fan of the Hachimura. And behind Justice Winslow is Harry Giles. 92 out of 99 going to uh, Corey and the Kings. Should there be like a Harry Giles, Harry Styles, like buddy comedy? All right, and the last one.
of this break, and then we'll do a couple randomizers. I think the card on the bottom is the base card here, and it's going to be Goga Batadze, 19 out of 20. Indiana Pacers, Brian Croft. And the last hit of the break is going to be another Laker. Old Laker Elgin Baylor. Old Laker great. 20 out of 99. First team signatures. What a break for the Lakers. Steven with that one. And there you have it. Let's do some randomizing. We'll do a we'll do a quick recap after the randomizer as well. So let's we're gonna use one dice roll for both cards. First of all, we got Donovan Mitchell, Utah, Devin Booker, Phoenix, and the David West card was uh, New Orleans, Indiana Pacers, San Antonio Spurs and Golden State Warriors. Let's roll it and randomize it two and a six, eight times for each list. Uh, team on top gets it after eight. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and eighth and final time after eight, Phoenix. With that one, by the time I get to Phoenix, she'll be rising, Stephen S. With the Suns winning randomizers too. All right, next one. A six and a two, eight times for this list right here. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and eighth and final time goes to New Orleans. Of course it does. That David West going to Adam Kupperman. And there you have it, boys and girls. What a break. So here's the recap. We had the the Elgin Baylor we just saw a second ago. Some pretty nice stuff. The Hachimura out of choice. The Zion out of choice. PJ. Ralph. TJ. Silver LeBron James. Donovan Mitchell rated rookie. John Morant cards. NBA debut. Allen Iverson relic. Papa Giannis, Anthony Davis rookie card, LeBron James Heat edition, Anthony Davis rookie auto, <laughs> and of course, the Kobe Bryant right there, on card autograph out of contenders. It's pretty nice. How about that? And there you go, ladies and gentlemen. That was Jaspie's uh, 15 box alley -oop. Basketball Mixer. I'm Joe for jazbeescasebreaks.com. R.I.P. Kobe. Miss you, man. We'll see you next time on jazbeescasebreaks.com.